instill some joy and gladness in me. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice again. We hasten to your patronage, O maiden full of grace. your help in Till I am whiter than snow, instill some joy and gladness in me. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice again. Purify me in the wisdom until I am clean. Wash me until I am whiter than snow. Bishop John, Bishop Thomas, Bishop Gerald, welcome to Our Lady of Wisdom on this memorial day. Of consecration. We're honored to have you here. Look down from heaven and see and visit this vineyard and perfect what your right hand has planted. May your hand be upon the Son of Man, whom you made perfect for yourself. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, look down from heaven and see and visit this vineyard and perfect what your right hand has planted. May your hand be upon the Son of Man, whom you made perfect for yourself. O oh Lord, O oh Lord, look down from heaven and see and visit this vineyard and perfect what your right hand has planted. May your hand be upon the Son of Man, whom you made strong for yourself. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Bow your 
Lord our God, who sanctified the streams of Jordan by your saving manifestation, send down your Holy Spirit and bless this water and rose water, wine and olive oil, which are to be used for the consecration and completion of this altar for your blessed now and ever and forever. Amen. By your coming, O Mother of God, the faithful people solemnly celebrate today. And gazing upon your immaculate image, they humbly say, Watch over us with your noble protection and deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. icons are sanctified through the grace of the all holy spirit by the sprinkling of this holy water in honor and glory of our god and savior jesus christ memory of his saints and in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. peace be to all Raise your arches, let the King of Glory in. Who is the King of Glory? In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Axios. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Axios. Axios. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Axios. the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Axios. 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 In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Axios. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Axio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Axio. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Axios. 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 Let us pray to the Lord. Give glory to Christ our God.
Brethren, you holy ones who share a heavenly calling, fix your eyes on Jesus, the apostle and high priest, whom we acknowledge in faith, who was faithful to him who appointed him. Moses, too, was faithful in all God's household, but Jesus is more worthy of honor than Moses, as ever the founder of a house is more honorable than the house itself. Every house is founded by someone, but God is the founder of all. Peace be with you, reader. Wisdom be attentive. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The very consecrating of the altar reminds us of how gracious and good our God is. Our Lady of Wisdom is the special title that the late Father Francis gave to this church. And it speaks to us about Mary's graciousness we hear, we hear this throughout the uh, fast season, the Philippian fast, Advent. Uh, all of that is meant to raise our eyes and wait for expected hope in the Lord who comes to heal and bring all of us to his grace and his awareness. And so today we, we celebrate. We're very gracious to have with us, my brother bishops, Bishop Gerald, Bishop Thomas, and all the different priests that have come and made time to celebrate this happy occasion. Uh, we are in the deacons and subdeacons, the seminary and David from your parish. We are truly blessed to have all of that present in today's. So today, let us continue to rejoice and be glad. Uh, we can continue to uh, celebrate the great presence of our Lord God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us ask him to uh, help this community to grow. And let us most especially be thankful for all the different blessings that he has bestowed on us. Your pastor, Father Milan, uh, all the different people who come to make the church come alive. Let us do that as we offer this liturgy of thanksgiving uh, on the dedica newly dedicated altar of your church. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. We offer to you this spiritual and unbloody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and entreat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts lying before us. Make this bread the precious body of your Christ. That which is in this chalice, the precious blood of your Christ. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. 
that for those who partake of them, they may bring about a spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom and confidence in you and not judgment or condemnation. blessing of the Lord be upon you through his grace and loving kindness always now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, O Christ our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. 